Let's upgrade the 7970X Threadripper to the 9970X. First, we're taking out the R dims. This is DDR5 R dim sticks. Carefully take this off. Now, you'll notice here for this style of AIO, this is by Gigabyte, it doesn't cover the entire IHS, which is slightly unfortunate, but all the hot spots are directly where you see the thermal paste is actually applied. Now, you actually use this torque tool in order to install and remove a thread ripper. And then it's labeled 321, that's to remove it, or 123 to install it. All three screws are loosened enough for this to release. And then those two blue tabs, you just kind of lift it up to allow all the pins to be exposed. And then I'm just going to slowly take out this $2,500 CPU. And now we can slide in the Ryzen Threadripper 9970X. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And it kind of locks in right there. And now we can fold it down. And as this is a kind of a torque tool, once it reaches its limit, it does that. And we do that for screw number two. And then the third one, locked in. For thermal paste, I'll be using the Arctic MX6 as usual. And now we screw everything in in a crisscross fashion. Plugging back the GPU, flip the switch, make sure you grab a stick, hit your power button. And now we wait. And I was scared there for a minute, hitting 100 degrees plus Celsius. And uh, yeah, the Gigabyte software has no idea what to do with this brand new CPU. I'm actually only at 50 degrees Celsius, right? Well, 42. All right, I fixed it. Much better. AMD Ryzen Threadripper 9970X, 32 cores, 64 threads. Cinebench R23, 74, almost 75,000 points. Much better than the 63,000 we were getting with the previous 7970X. And the temperatures are 69 giggity degrees Celsius. So I'm using the Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 901 PC case. I have the glass back on now. 32 cores on full load. I'm very impressed with the clock speed while we're running Blender Benchmark. And we got a score of about 12% higher. Shout out if you're familiar with this GIF over here. Or the GIF, what do you say? So in applications like Cinebench R23, R24, Blender Benchmark, the Ryzen 9 9950X 3D does very well, but it gets stomped on the previous gen and Threadripper, and of course the current gen Threadripper 9000, it really just shines. If you currently have a Ryzen Threadripper 7970X, is it worth it to upgrade to the 9970X? N no, but if you need the extra cores going to the 9980X, ugh, that is a chef's kiss right there and rip to your wallet.